and welcome to Teddy's grand, uh, I mean, the Museum of Among the Sleep. Go on, take a look around. Did you know that you can collect hidden drawings throughout the game? If you do, they will appear here in this room. There might even be a reward if you can find them all. The prologue was added as a free DLC a couple of months after a release of the game. It was made in collaboration with some of our fans, and made to elaborate a little bit on what went wrong with the parents' relationship. That the mother was not simply evil, but rather that relationships are tough, and neither of the parents handled it well. Oh, you're home! The team wanted to start with introducing the character of the mother, as well as the mechanics of the game. Starting with the kid's birthday was a way to both introduce Teddy in the form of a gift, and showing how old the kid is. When night falls over the home is when you really start seeing the ways in which the child perceives reality while scared. A large part of the game is based on how children see and interpret what's happening around them. The Playground 
there's something walking around here, but you never see it. The passive threat keeps you on your toes, and at the same time creates the illusion that you might be safe for the rest of the game. <laughs> This is the forested home. It's a crumbling home that's slowly rotting away into the water and trees. The house here is a symbol of the family and home falling apart. The bloated creature inhabiting it is how the kid sees his mother when she's drinking and full of sorrow. For each world the player goes through, the environment illustrates more and more the jumbling together of memories, and this place is a direct illustration of that mess. Most prominently, it's framed by the memory the child has from trying to hide in closets or any nook it can find. The monster in this place represents the mother when she is angry. It comes out when the kid is making a mess. Oh, there you have it, me, or old me, as now I'm just a floaty version in your memory, of course. Also, here are all the characters in Among the Sleep, old and new. Some are not used, and some are hard to see because of the various tricks and lighting we did to obfuscate them.
Ah, my favorite place. I felt we really connected here, you know? A bit of a breather between the various bad, nightmarish worlds we went to. Also, I was able to talk a lot here, as elsewhere the developers were concerned about keeping the tension up and didn't want me to say too many things. Also, I kind of get quiet when scared, so it's okay and all, but I liked best the times we had to catch up. This is the reveal. This is where you see your mother for what she is, and the player gets to connect the various monsters and sights through the game. Originally, the chase for the mom was a MacGuffin. You did not really find her, and the monsters used her to lure you further into the dreamlands. And we struggled for some time to make sense of this story, especially the playtesters were confused as the story ended without you seeing your mom again. Now here is something truly special. Want to see what the game almost was at some point? This is an old version of the story's conclusion, and it's been something we have not shown anybody except a few testers in the early days. You might say here, I got to have more fun than in the original ending. <laughs> Come in and see. Oh. Mm. 
extraordinary. <laughs> round and round and round. Places go in. Five little animals live on a steep, steep hill. A snail that dreams of climbing trees, but never will. A hungry, starving hippo whose gummies are red. And her best friend, seagull, lying lifeless and dead. <laughs> And now, for the main ingredient. Thank you. You did very well. I will enjoy you very much. <laughs> <laughs>